When I was a child, I was fascinated by the micro world, watching through my microscope the amazing cosmos of small organisms moving around in a single drop of water. When I heard that machines the size of many kilometers are needed to investigate the smallest features of nature, I immediately imagined a microscope the size of a mountain. So in case you're wondering, this is me in the picture here. <laughs> Being told that these were not microscopes in a traditional sense, but machines that accelerate particles close to the speed of light did not really clarify things for me. What are these machines doing? Why they are needed for fundamental research? And why they are the size of many kilometers and not the size of my microscope? All these questions put me on track for the field I'm currently involved in, the field of particle accelerators. Not surprisingly, today I'm working on a technology which shows the path towards shrinking the size of these accelerators. This technology is called plasma wake field acceleration, and it will revolutionize the field of particle accelerators. I am the project leader of the AWAKE experiment here at CERN, the first proton-driven plasma wake field acceleration experiment worldwide. But before getting now too far into obscure acronyms, let me tell you what this accelerator business is all about. Today, there are more than 30,000 particle accelerators in operation worldwide. They are used in medical applications for diagnostics and cancer therapy. They are used for uh, semiconductor industry and material science. And they are used in biology research and in many other areas. The largest of the these accelerators are used for particle physics research. Over the last 100 years, humans have built particle accelerators of ever-increasing size. The latest incarnation is the Large Hadron Collider, so-called LHC, here at CERN, under us now, which has uncovered the famous Higgs boson in 2012 and which resulted in a Nobel Prize in 2013. The increase in size is directly related to the need to accelerate particles to ever higher energies. So why do we need these high energy particles? We need the high energy particles to understand the origin of the universe, how it all became, and to understand and see the smallest building blocks of matter. With our traditional microscope, we use the particles of the visible light, the photons, to see. With these photons, we can see matter the size of a bacterium. The higher the energy of the particles, the smaller the features are we can see. So if we use higher energy photons, so-called X-rays, we can see atoms. And we if we use even higher particles from radioactivity, we can look into the atomic nucleus. So thanks to the enormous progress of the accelerator technology in the last 100 years, with the high energy particles from the accelerators, we can see features a billion times smaller than an atom. So with machines like the Large, uh, large Hadron Collider, we can, we can see the smallest building blocks of matter we know so far, the so-called quarks and leptons, which make up all our visible matter. Another fascinating aspect of particle accelerators and high energy particles is the fact by letting the particles collide, matter is created through the equivalence of energy and mass that Einstein uncovered. These processes were ongoing in the very early universe, only a tiny of a fraction of a second after the Big Bang. And these are the conditions we are recreating in colliders such as the LHC. So the success of using particle, particle accelerators for unearthing the fundamental laws of nature is impressive. They remain the key tools 
to understand the origin of the universe and the smallest building blocks of matter. The physicist and mathematician Freeman Dyson said, new directions in science are launched by new tools much more often than by new concepts. And this is what history of science shows us. Having a look at nature with new tools has unlocked many of nature's secrets, and the key tools for particle physics are the accelerators. So how do they work? How do we accelerate particles? We accelerate particles by placing them in an electric field. You can build your own pocket accelerator by using a one-volt battery, attaching on each extremity a metal ring. If you now place a proton or an electron into the center of the ring, the particle moves towards the other ring, gain energy, and gets accelerated. The accelerators of today surely are not pocket accelerators anymore. The LHC, for example, accelerates particles to 7 tera electron volt. This, would me this means you would need 7,000 billion batteries to do this. A battery pile which stretches from the Earth to the Sun. Fortunately, today's accelerators are using so-called radio frequency cavities. The principle of accelerating is the same, but they are using an alternating electric field instead of a static electric field. But even this technology is reaching now its limits. So how do we continue this journey? How can we increase the magnification of our supermicroscopes, of our accelerators? How can we increase the energy of our particles? The easiest way to increase the power of our machine and to increase the energy is to increase the size of the accelerators. The LHC is 27 kilometers long. The design concepts for the next generation accelerators are looking at machines of 50 to 100 kilometers. It's not clear whether these machines are affordable. So that the technology to accelerate particles obviously needs a fundamental revision. We need a new tool to accelerate particles. And this new tool might just be plasma wakefield acceleration. So how do we accelerate particles now with plasma wakefield acceleration? Well, it's just like surfing. Imagine a boat on a lake and surfers waiting for the ride. The boat passes by the surfers, they create wave, the surfers jump on the wave, ride on it, and get accelerated. And voila, that's it. We do the same in plasma wakefield acceleration. We have a plasma, the lake, we have a drive beam, the boat, which creates wake fields, the waves, and then we inject particles on the waves to get accelerated, the surfers. So in contrast now to the battery, the electric field to accelerate particles, so the surface, is now produced by another beam which passes through the plasma. Plasma wake field experiments have been done worldwide at many locations with very successfully, and the principle of surfing has been shown with impressive results. However, in the AWAKE experiment, now here at CERN, we have a unique and powerful boat. We use for the first time ever a proton beam to drive the wake fields. So the protons produce a much longer wave so that the particles can surf over a much longer distance. So in the wake experiment, the boat we are using are protons from a CERN accelerator. They drive through the plasma and create the waves. And the surface, we inject an electron beam on the crest of the wave so that they get accelerated to higher energies. So now here comes the amazing thing. The waves, meaning the electric field which is created in all of these plasma accelerators, is 1,000 times stronger than the electric field created in the conventional accelerators. This means we obtain a 1,000 times stronger acceleration in the same size of machine. So 100 kilometers could suddenly shrink to 100 meters. What a huge step 
towards smaller and therefore less expensive accelerators. So let's get carried away by dreaming on. The plasma wake field acceleration technology will enable the industrial, the medical, and the research applications to become much more accessible. A plasma wake field accelerator could one day become a tabletop device within reach of your local doctor's office or a university lab in any region of the world. A new energy frontier for particle physics could be realized with plasma wake field acceleration technology. Scales of meters rather than kilometers could make the accelerators much more affordable. One could also envision using a particle beam from an existing conventional accelerator to drive the wake field in a plasma accelerator which is installed just behind it. This would increase the particle energy by a huge factor in only small distance. So if all these applications materialize, the particle physicists and scientists could perform experiments beyond their wildest imagination. The AWAKE experiment here at CERN is a proof of concept experiment with the aim to provide just such a particle physics frontier accelerator. And our surf party will start next year. Surely there are many challenges to be overcome to exploit this technology in such a dramatic way. But the principle of plasma wake field acceleration is already there. In the next few years, the AWAKE team and I will be striving to make this vision a reality. Thank you.